Okay. So, here's the deal. <laughs> My four-year-old is shooting us right now because we basically wanted to share what we're doing, which is sort of crazy, and but also like the most sane thing that we can come up with at this point. So, we're going to start with who we are and how we got here. Okay, so my name's Amanda Dennis, and I was um, living in New York City before I moved here to Hawaii, and was there for about six years, and worked in a corporate job, um, was actually running an organization, at our family business, and um, really experiencing success, I think, like, on all measurable levels, so success the way that people define it. So... Um, had a great job, was making really good money, had an amazing husband, a beautiful, healthy daughter. I even, for the first time in my life, was at a point where I was pretty happy with my body and you know, my physical side, which was always kind of a struggle. And um, it was interesting, though, because we got to this, like, climax. You know, the business was going good. Everything was, you know, really great. And I realized that there was just always just something missing. So I was like, hmm, I have success on all these levels, all these, in the, all these areas that our society would consider successful. But why am I not, like, totally fulfilled? Why don't I feel, like, blissful and joyful and just, you know, really, really happy? And um, so I started doing what I normally do when I'm curious about something, which is reading. So I started reading books. Um, Deepak Chopra, Greg Braden, Marianne Williamson, the Anastasia series, Natalia Rose, who was my um, nutritional mentor, um, so reading a lot of things that she had to say. Um, who else? Louise Hay. Did I say Marianne Williamson? Mm -hmm. Eckhart Tolle, or Tolle, I don't even know how to say the Neither. name, right? <laughs> Whichever one it is. Um, and really started uh, uh, to get clued into metaphysics and the fact that there is really a lot more than meets the eye and I started to feel like maybe the answer to some of my questions about why I wasn't totally fulfilled might lie there and metaphysics also then leads into spirituality in general because basically what quantum science and metaphysics are finding or proving is what spiritual leaders knew you know, thousands and thousands of years ago. So, right. it was kind of like this convergence of science and spirituality all coming together and, and have me having the aha of, whoa, there's a lot more to this than meets the eye, which was really exciting. But I would read all these books about communing in nature, the importance of that, the importance of meditation, the importance of, um, you know, being in an alkaline environment. And I was living in a high-rise in New York City going, um, that's all great, but I have no way to do that right now. I mean, I can go to Central Park. But I just, I really wanted to like dive into it. And I really wanted to, um, I, I, I needed like experience things. So I was, I was reading about things and understanding it, but I was like, I won't really understand what these people are talking about until I experience some of this for myself. And I knew that that would probably mean that I needed to change my career. I needed to change my environment. I needed to like slow down and really change my focus. Because every day was all about work, 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 work. Um, so... We did. We basically, um, my husband and I quit our jobs. We sold everything in our apartment in New York. We sold our house in California, which we still had, and everything in that. Um, and we moved to the Big Island of Hawaii, which we had never been here before. Um, but it just seemed like the right thing to do. We really kind of just followed all the clues and all that stuff. So we ended up here, and now we're here, and now she's here too. <laughs> <laughs> they were salespeople before. They're obviously really good salespeople because now we're here too. But I, our, my story is 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 um, different in the sense that I think from the beginning, I knew that more was possible. And I remember like, I just kind of felt like I was trying to fit into this life that didn't really make sense. And and I would just look around me at the world and try to find like. Who's really fulfilled? Who's really like psyched to wake up every day? And the answers that I got were like, well, nobody is, but like you shouldn't expect that out of life. And I was like, no, if that's it, if that's all there is, I remember like getting to the point where I was like, then I'm, I'm out. Like I, I don't, I didn't sign up for this. This is not what I came here to do. Like to, to be gone 
10 hours a day away from your family in a job that most people, you know, most of the time you're not thrilled about just to make money, just because money's the only thing that gets us anything that should fulfill us. Like the whole thing just didn't add up to me. And, but I didn't know what else to do. And I didn't want to, um, like totally check out of life either. And I think that was our hesitation. And, oh, Kilo, are you coming down here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I help you? Um, I think that was our hesitation in doing this, um, in coming to Hawaii in the first place is because, you know, like for my husband is, you know, wants to do film and that's why we're in Los Angeles. And it's so like, why would you leave Los Angeles when that's the epicenter of where people create films and like, and, and our family's not here and all this stuff. But I think what we have been after is like, you know, we've read all these same books and, um, and a lot of these same thinkers and we just know that, that so much more is possible. And so I think we're all here to find that out. And I think some of our common values are we wanted to be in nature. We wanted to raise our kids on land. We think that there's such important things, you know, information that they get about life. By, by I remember reading Sidney Poitier. He grew up on um, in Jamaica and all of his life lessons he learned because the kids were out running around all day you know, stepping in beehives and getting caught in the in the aqueducts and like just l real life lessons, and um, so that and then also living in community. I think, you know, we've been down in Los Angeles and um, we didn't have, um, you know, neither of our parents were there and we had siblings uh, there, but um, they were really busy in their work and we just kind of figured, you know, we didn't really have that community of raising children and I think especially when raising kids that's become a huge thing to us that we've realized it's so much more fun to do together and so all of these things have brought us here t with Amanda and Jason as our families together just to see like so what are the possibilities you know like can we follow our hearts can we be completely illogical and just you know like sell everything we have follow our hearts make money and and be Thrive happy and be happy. Yeah, so it's kind of like we, since we've grown up, it's been like, oh, wouldn't it be amazing to live in the same area? Wouldn't it be amazing to raise our kids together? Wouldn't it be amazing to like have this perfect balance between being creative and and working on projects, but then also having time with our kids? Yeah. Wouldn't it be amazing if, you know, we could live in Hawaii? I mean, yeah. we always said that. Wouldn't it be amazing <laughs> to live in Hawaii? So, but we thought everybody says that. Like, who doesn't say that? that? You so, know, we're not gonna do that. I mean, right. that's not reality. Yeah. But so it's been like, well. Yeah. So we just decided to do it. So you um, are going to get to witness a little bit of an experiment that right. we are involved in right now. Right. And I think that what we really want to do is make sure that we share the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. This is not going to be like, oh, it's all perfect. Like everyone should just sell everything they have and move to Hawaii. That's and meditate. Definitely, <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely not the point. But um, but it's, it's is there a new paradigm? Is there a new way of doing things that works better than what we were doing? Right. For right. us. For us, yeah. And maybe it'll resonate with you too, but yeah. Yeah. And maybe not. <laughs> maybe you'll think we're crazy, and that's okay too. As long as <laughs> lot, we're happy, I guess. Well, a lot of people do already, so yeah. you just join the ranks. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, anything else? I don't think so. So we, we're, so we're titling this YouTube page, um, Navigating the Now Paradigm, a Spiritual Adventure. Um, because we feel like we are on a spiritual adventure. But we want to explain more of that to you yeah. in the next episode. Yeah. So, stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Kilo, you want to press the button? No. You want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to sing it.